and I wanted to show you today our new Model 717. Um, what's unique about the 717 is our first model that we've had field replaceable sensors, so the O2 and the CO sensors can be replaced in the field. Um, it's easy to do, you just remove the rubber boot, call us up and we send you the sensors in the mail, and then you take off this back panel, which is just this one screw here, and then you have access to those two sensors that I just described. So instead of um, you know, sending this in yearly for calibration, you can do some of that on your own out in the field, save you a little bit of time. Um, this particular unit is just like all our other 700 series combustion analyzers, 0 to 10,000 part per million on the cell. Um, the 717, like I said, comes with this molded rubber boot. It also comes with silicon tubing to do your pressure checks. There's the positive and the negative pressure channel there. Uh, it also comes with a K-type thermocouple probe that acts as your T2 temperature probe. And we've got this inline protection filter where we're going to use that, this mini protection filter, um, whenever we're taking any ambient CO tests or doing any flue gas testing. Also comes with an exhaust spigot and of course the flue gas probe itself um, with the water trap assembly. This padded carrying case is also part of the complete kit. One of the nice things about the Model 717 um, is in terms of pressure, the range is negative 60 inches of water column all the way up to 60 inches of water column. Um, it is a dual input manometer and it has a resolution in terms of inches of water that reads out in .001, so it's really good for doing your static pressure tests. Um, what's also nice about that pressure that manometer is you can use the data logging features um, just like you would save any other readings, whether it's combustion or combustion efficiencies, um, you can save those pressure tests as well, so that's a nice feature. Um, it does have a low battery indicator and a backlit LCD. Um, and I think I mentioned as well, um, and if I didn't, it's important to know that this does what we call a CO room test. So we can actually data log CO. We can leave this unit inside a room over time. It'll data log up to 50 different readings. Um, you can have it take readings as soon as once every minute.